it was exciting to be invited to write Star Wars. It was also uh, very frightening. Nobody knew if anybody would care about Star Wars. Star Wars is going to keep going forever. I'm Timothy Zahn. I've been writing science fiction for about 40 years. The biggest thing I'm known for are my 10 Star Wars books. Uh, the first of which, Heir to the Empire, has just been published by Editor Aleph. I was invited by the publisher of Bantam Books and by Lucasfilm themselves. The two companies had made a deal to write, to, to uh, publish more Star Wars books. The editors at Bantam gave Lucasfilm a list of authors they thought could do Star Wars and Lucasfilm liked my style best. So I got a completely unexpected, out of the blue phone call from my agent uh, in November of 1989 with the, the, the best offer I've ever had, the chance to write Star Wars books. We would be honored if you would join us. It was exciting to be invited to write Star Wars. It was also uh, very frightening because I could write a book that thousands, maybe millions of people would read, but if I didn't do it right, all those people would also be mad at me. I have a very bad feeling about this. Dark Horse Comics decided they wanted to do the adaptation of the, of the Thrawn trilogy with six issues for each of the books. They originally came to me and asked if I would like to do the scripting for it. And I looked at how much of a book I had and how much of a book it was going to be put down into, and I knew I couldn't do it properly. Do or do not. There is no try. So they asked Mike Barron instead, and I didn't think I would have the heart to cut out scenes and, and things that I liked that I'd worked hard to put in. I just didn't think I could do it proper justice and it would be hard just mentally for me to, to take the book and trim it down as much as it had to be done. So um, I was just as happy to, to let Mike handle all of that. And as I said, he did a, a great job of making it down to the six issues but without losing any of the, of the real story to it. Somebody has to save our skins. You have to understand that when I first wrote the book back in 1991, nobody knew if anybody would care about Star Wars. Nobody knew if the fans were still out there or whether anybody would want to read a book instead of watching the movies. I see your point, sir. The fact that not only were the fans out there, they bought the book, the book has been translated into many languages. People all around the world have, have, have bought it. And now, 25 or so years later, we have a new edition coming out and we're getting just as much excitement for the book then, uh, now as we did then. It's just, it, it shows just how big and important Star Wars is in, in so many people's lives. And it's very gratifying that Something I did that far back is still being remembered and still being read. Star Wars itself, just something has captured the imagination all over the world. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. And now we're getting new movies and new comics and new books. And Star Wars is going to keep going forever. It's true.